Today we're going to talk about how to grow your audience. Hi and welcome back to the show. My name is Mark and I wanted to record this video to say a big thank you for paying attention, for giving me some of your time, for writing comments, for sharing this video with your friends and for subscribing to the show because I've just reached a huge milestone for me is that I've reached 600 subscribers. And this inspired me for today's video, which is I often get asked, how do you build an audience? So how do you build a following? And here are four things that I wanted to share with you that I hope will help you as you start your journey to build your own audience or if you're interested in how to grow your existing audience. The first thing is, it doesn't matter if you've got 10 people paying attention or 10,000, be grateful for every single person that's giving you their attention. It's easy to feel a little disappointed when you haven't got hundreds or thousands of followers, let alone millions. But actually, if you think about it, every single person that clicks subscribe or clicks follows or clicks likes is someone that's giving you their time and their attention and, and, and they're giving you their trust. Celebrate that. Be grateful for that. It doesn't matter if you're speaking to 10 people or 3 people or 30,000. Give the same attention and gratitude to every single one of them. Number two, I think it's important that you understand that things take time. I know that we are in a society where everyone is trying to find hacks and shortcuts on how to get there as fast as possible. And don't get me wrong, it's great to take bold steps and to try and be there because we're so eager. But the truth is, building a relationship takes time. Think about it. If you're going to go out on a date, you want to make sure that you get to know them a bit better. That maybe you go out on a few dates and eventually you might go out for a drink and maybe you'll lean for a kiss and, and then maybe more. But it takes time. It's taken me six months to get to 600 subscribers on YouTube. Now, some people may find that that is really little. I'm so excited. I'm genuinely grateful. I opened up my laptop and I saw that I had over 600 subscribers and I just felt a rush of gratitude. And they reminded me that things take time. Be patient. And that brings me to the third point. Be consistent. Now, by far, this has been one of the hardest things to abide by, but I believe has been one of the key reasons why I've gradually, systematically incremented the number of followers or subscribers on my YouTube channel. And that includes releasing a video every single week. And I've done this since January, militantly, every single week I've released a video. Be consistent. It's gonna help people being used to you generating content and putting it out there. I don't know if it's once a week, three times a week, or every day. Now my fourth point may sound a little weird, but my fourth point is, Celebrate every single milestone along the way. Celebrating milestones along the way actually enables you to pause and see what you've achieved. Now, I don't know if it's celebrating 10 people who've just subscribed to your channel, 50, 100. I personally celebrate every 100. My goal is to get to 1,000 subscribers by December. I thought that was a real bold goal in, back in January when I barely had 100. But I think I might get there. And if I don't, that's okay. Because right now I'm celebrating the fact that I've reached 600 subscribers on YouTube. And I'm, that's so exciting. Can you imagine a room of 600 people in front of you that you could get to talk to? I hear this all the time. People say, oh, I want to have a big audience. I'd like to talk to so many people. Well, if you've got 600 people, 500 people, or 300 people following you, that's huge. If you had to have those people in one room, how amazing would that be? If I had to add a fifth point, it would probably be make sure that you're giving valuable content. That may be content that people want or ask, or content that you just know that you would benefit from hearing or that you wished you knew back when you were just starting off on your journey. Because by providing valuable content, it will give a reason for people to check in, share, and get involved. And the sixth point would be help people engage with your content. Ask people for questions, for comments, Ask people to send you what they're struggling with. Engage with your audience so that they feel like you're really there to provide value. Even if it's for one person, I know that it will benefit so many more out there. So make it engaging and make sure you make it relatable. Thank you so much for watching this video. As always, if you thought it was interesting or valuable, share it with a friend. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to this channel. Help me get to the 700 mark. But more than that, thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention, and I hope that we can go along on this journey. And if you have any questions that you want to ask me about how to get your message out into the world, how to stand out from the crowd, how to build products and services around your passion, how to be a better leader, those kind of questions excite me and excite my spirit. So ask them by posting a comment below, 
and I'll do a video just for you. And until next time, you know what time it is. It's time to take action. Thank you.